if you want to find a job before Christmas, then stay right here. You must watch this mini training. We tend to be very linear in our job search. What I mean is we apply for the job, we get the interview, we stop applying for jobs because we need to focus on the interview. We go through the interview process, we get rejected from the job and we start again back to the drawing board. Now, the obvious problem here is you didn't get the job. Yes, but the underlying problem it's your momentum was disrupted. Your confidence is shot. And the disappointment from that rejection is all consuming. All things that make your job search last longer than it needs to. So when I'm coaching a client, I'm preparing for an interview, I have them do three things. Number one is to re prepare for the interview. Number two is to rest and relax. And number three is the secret sauce. It's getting more irons in the fire. Now you may be thinking, huh? Well, like you get the first two things. Those are no brainers. What now? What now, Sarah? What do you even mean by that? What I mean by that is that irons in the fire is more job opportunities. I always assign applying for a few jobs and sending some networking emails as part of an interview prep. And there are reasons why I do this. The first reason is that it increases the likelihood that you get this job because it takes away that like pressure we put on ourselves where we're like, we must get this job. You know what I'm talking about. An interview request starts that like fantasy of like you getting the job and you start picturing your life in the job. And that is great. I don't want to take away from that because that's amazing. But when we put so much pressure on that fantasy to come true, we start to raise our anxiety and our nerves because we start feeling like it just has to happen. Like this is our one shot. Now, when we are getting irons in the fire, when we're exploring other opportunities, we are also getting excited about other jobs, which takes away the pressure and the like, must get this job or else feeling that you have. What this allows you to do is to show up at the interview, excited about the job, not needing the job. The second reason why I suggest irons in the fire uh, by applying for more jobs and sending out networking emails is it accelerates your job search. Because if you don't get the job, we haven't disrupted your momentum. You'll keep getting interview requests. Your confidence, yeah, like it will take a hit. But with all of this other action going on, It'll just be a blip. And while this disappointment, you'll feel it, but you don't really have time for it because you have so many other exciting opportunities right there on the horizon waiting for you. So the average job search right now across North America is about six months long. By doing this, by getting more irons in the fire, by still applying to jobs and sending out networking emails while you prepare for an interview, that is how you cut it in half. That's how you cut it down to just eight to 12 weeks. And this is why the average job search in my Career Love Academy is only six weeks right now. And it's why many of my clients, they're not just getting one offer, they're getting multiple offers and which gives them the opportunity to choose the one that they want. And it's them taking control of their career way faster than they ever expected, which is why I want you to join the Career Love Academy because my course, my weekly coaching, the community, it is really all designed to build so much momentum in your job search that it ends up being super quick 
and it leaves you picking the job you really want. The link to join us is below. And I'll see you next week with another little training. Happy job searching.